What is up, guys? It is John and the Game Master guys here. What's up, everybody? It's me, X and Ab11. I almost got tongue tied really bad. Hey, guys, I'm Sparks for 28. And welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So, last part, we received the Thunder Badge from Lieutenant Surge. Which doesn't first... benefit us at all. Yeah, so it does not help. So, the Jet Badge of the Kanto does not help us in the Pokemon League at all, since we're already champions after all. They're worse. But yeah. <laughs> But we're still gonna go. We're gonna explore Kanto because we love Kanto. Kanto's memories. Well, the really next biggest thing on our list is to really just battle all the gym leaders, and the next closest one is in Saffron City, which is north. Yep. So. Really and good. yeah, now, now I bet you guys are expecting us to talk about it, and we will. How about the, so? How's the new episode of the Powerpuff Girls reboot, guys? Oh uh, no, forget that. That just new kidding, um, just Pokemon just Sun and Moon trailer that came out. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Yep, when I first saw that, my balls exploded, and I just, ah, uh, I was freaking out. I want Pippo, was, I don't know what start I'm choosing yet, but I'll, I'll decide in the future, Neither though. do I. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till more info is released, then I'll decide. The, the, I'll tell you what, though. The starters do look cool. I can't really decide either, because, like, the fire, the, um, the grass-type one does look good, too. It's grass and flying this time, which is pretty interesting, though, because... What time's the ice? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. It's a downside. Yeah, okay. we. It's good that we have. It's good that we have another one because the only one we had so far was Tropius. Yeah. So. So yeah. The Alolo region, like you take the L off, it's Aloha. Yep. Pretty much. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the game pl takes place in Hawaii. Of course. Well, you, you, you got to put an H when you take the L out. Yeah, that's what yeah. I said. No, I didn't hear you say that. I just said I just heard you say take the L out. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. So yeah, the trailer, it was fantastic, I love it. It was 10 out of 10, good trailer. Really good. I think it's odd, and it's coming out November 18th, so be sure to pick it up, whatever you pick up your games at. Oh yeah, before we keep talking about Sun and Moon, this house right here, this is the Psychic Man's house. It's the same house from Kanto. If you go in here, he'll give you a TM for Psychic. The same guy. Damn, you already had Sasha on see that quick. I was already ready for that. But, um, and we got to see the Legendaries. Well then again, there's not many trainers here. Oh yeah, by the way, like... Yeah, there's yeah. Since Red already gave the water bottle security, there's no point. Okay, I'm at Saffron City too. Also, all right, looks pretty nice. I want to go inside. So Saffron colorful. Though. So yeah, there's not really much to do here compared to the Red, Blue, and Yellow games. Yeah, so there's self color. There's not. There's only like one floor, I believe. Really no. Dark, oh yeah, this, I'm at the Mimic's house, I think. The Mimic Girl's house. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs, but since you came such a long way, have this neat little souvenir. Got the upgrade. This is to um, evolve. Porygon. Yeah, but you can't go upstairs, so you're only permitted to just... No, they, they've tightened up security because of what happened three years ago. Yeah, they don't want any, any terrorists like Giovanni or Team Rocket <laughs> to be there. They took down the elevator. Wow, big stuff. Gotta use stairs. The fighting dojo is still here, but it's pretty useless. It's like nobody here, except this one, yeah, one guy. Hello, what is he? Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for training. Oh yeah, apparently this apparently someone's house has been replaced to a train station, which you can't really go here yet unless you have a ticket. That will lead you to Goldenrod City. So yeah, that, that's basically the magic train I explained like a long time ago. Uh, what else? There is a um focus band in the um dojo. Not really now. Huh. The fighting band I think can boost fighting type moves if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, there's no Kanto bike focus riding theme band. either. So yeah, don't forget. So yeah, not don't forget to mention that. Okay, let me get the psychic real quick before we start off our next gym leader. Back in red, blue, and yellow, it used to be the way like Saffron was like the biggest city in the whole game, and then it was like. It, was, it wasn't as big as Celadon, because Celadon had the department store. This was a pretty big city to go to. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you could do here. Yeah, but nowadays, uh, just, it's just nice to explore here. Yep. Alright guys, I guess it's time to battle the gym. Let's go work out, guys. Pump some iron. It's the same thing from like three, quote unquote, three years Yo, ago. Yo, champ in the making! A trainer as skill as you guys! Doesn't need to be doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic type, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Okay then. Well, thanks, nerd. Does anybody remember how to get there? No. Well, no, nope, not really. So, as usual, we're gonna take all the teleportation paths till we find the correct answer. 
Okay, for psychic types, thanks to Steel and Dark type, if you have those, then you're officially cool. And this time around, they actually have psychic types in here. Or was that like Koga's gym? And then this gym didn't have psychic types, something like that. It was, it was Koga's gym, actually, something like yeah. In Goga gym, there were tamers in there that had psychic types. Oh, that didn't kill. <sighs> oh, man. That confusion didn't, did nothing. You used confusion? Oh, wait, it used confusion. It's a drowsy. Yeah, what do you expect? Yeah, Jazzy, yeah, Jazzy used confusion. It didn't do nothing to me. Because I rock hard. Drowsy, you know, I considered getting a hypno, but, you know. Last time I had one, so I just said forget it. Well, I'm basically trading all my, my whole, my, almost my whole entire Kanto team over, so why not? Anyways. Also, Jimmy, there's something one thing I want to point out while I was editing the latest part. Shoot. I'm surprised you have two water types. What are my two water types? Uh, bl uh, my Frogator and your Vaporeon. Meh. It is my favorite <laughs> type next to fire. Just funny, though. Uh, so yeah, that makes sense of you getting the, uh, Puplio? Or whatever the name is? Yeah, Piplio. I guess Piplio, that's what yeah. it's called. Alright, so back to Sun and Moon. Well, let's see. From what I see, like... like, and then the professor looks like some type of surfer guy. Exactly. <laughs> and then what else? Also, yeah. I bet everyone expects my reaction to this. I know. Rip Serena. I'm gonna start crying. Don't <laughs> worry, don't be a new female trainer. Hopefully you, you can make black trainers again with spiky hair. No, you can. Thank God, please. If I don't know about spiky hair, but I saw like yeah, one you... black trainer come up to the um, basic trainer. No, like no. When you start the game, you can customize your trainer just like how X and Y. Like you can be black, blonde. Yeah, you know. That's all. You name it. It's gonna be I fun you... though. I could. Why Nintendo? Just talk about it in E3, please. Man, Sun Moon looks exciting. I'm just... Have you guys seen the Japanese trailer of it? I didn't it's not too different. Yet. It, it just looks this is it similar? Uh not really. It shows like a, it basically shows a scene like basically Oh I'm already uh, here. I got the Sabrina. What's about the trainers? Like, okay, it doesn't it looks pretty different, but it's not game well maybe gameplay wise a little bit but not too much. It's just a scene about some Japanese kid going uh, fly to Hawaii or whatever, and then I think he's left out because he doesn't have Sun and Moon and he went to go buy Sun and Moon. And then he basically met a new person. Yeah. So it's basically a trailer about me. It's basically teaching you that you should meet new people and trade with them in battle, I guess. It's like a little message there. Well, not in Mississippi, you can't. <coughs> <laughs> well, maybe, like I said, baseball isn't the best part of Mississippi. It's like, it really isn't. Mississippi's not that bad of a state. I'll, I'll put it to you like that. It's just not the best place to just really, I don't know. I can't say. <laughs> I'd rather live in Texas. Oh yeah, you know, I don't know. I thought of something of the ca of the fire starter. What um, gosh. That's that's pretty unique. I don't know. The it name reminded either. me of Litlio a little bit. Same here, but it's like a cat. <laughs> okay, I realize in this gym they reduced the trainers here. You want to know a secret? Okay, go left. Yeah, go down. Oh. Pff. Okay, so about the about the fire cat starter. You know how fire is weak to water, right? Yes. And you know how cats hate water. Yeah. See? Ah. Oh. It's kind of... Funny. That's not even thought of soon. I wonder which starter Ash will have on his team when he goes to Alola. I wonder, I wanna know his companions already. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure they'll review at least a image of something. Will he do the all the, starter uh, route like he does sometimes or just get like one starter? He's, I'm, I'm just saying he should have one starter. I think one starter's best. He usually because. goes like the three starter route. Like um, he did Unova, Kanto, Johto. Yeah, that's it. I, st I like how he gets one instead. I think it's better off for one. Like I he did Sinnoh, Hoid, um, Kalos. Uh, yeah. I was trying to make no, sure I didn't it, forget it, a region. And, and Sinnoh, no, no, Sinnoh, he had two starters. Oh, yeah. Uh, Turtwig and, yeah. Alright, I reached Sabrina. So Chris, what do you think of Sun and Moon? Uh, looks looks pretty good so far. I'm looking forward to it. Same here. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna buy I might buy buy both both versions. Maybe it depends. No. I know uh, I know it's not really much point. It's not too pointful, but yeah. Also, I'm, I'm, I may get two versions just for funsies. 
And it's funny too because many people said that they want Pokemon Moon, but after they saw the trail, they all switched to Sun. <laughs> after maybe because of the legendary, because it's a, it's like a lion. Yeah. Lion. It used to be all about Pokemon differences, and that what made people get that certain game. Like nowadays, it's just you can get any Pokemon; it doesn't even matter. Go down right. once you um, get done with that. Just go down to the that teleporter. All right, we should reach the redhead here. Okay, but um. For uh, I, face I think I forgot it. Oh well. What well, is gonna do impression of her? I'm not doing it this time. <laughs> I, I'll do it. I the last one. All right, let's do this. <laughs> it's gonna be really bad, guys. Uh, let's do this. I knew you were coming. Same one for every girl. Three years ago. I'll try to do a girl's one. Uh, I will do Sabrina. Fine. Okay. <laughs> I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. Ooh. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. So let me get if you're against Pokemon battling or violence, why are you still here? So let me get this straight. When we battled her in Red Bull and Yellow, she was already thinking about us. She predicted the next game. Pretty much, yeah. <gasps> Uh I'm blown! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, so yeah, she has psychic types, basically. Not freaking two Abras and one Kadabra, I think. Because remember those two Abras, they just did nothing but teleport. She had Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. That was in yellow. How about the two Abras? No, yeah, in, yeah, so. in, in, in yellow she had Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. Ah. But yeah, in red and blue, her party was slightly different. Oh gosh, this feels is gonna help though. me so much. Freaking <laughs> Godzilla isn't gonna help me much. Crunch and barrier. Uh, well, uh, not barrier, but crunch and iron tail will do. Let's the. All right, you know what? Or let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll In other like, news, sing. the greatest game has been played recently by me, John, and one of our other friends. What is Uno. it? Oh, Uno. Oh no. If you guys have a song, I'm actually do I'm actually doing Uno with my other friends. Bro, Uno is so fun. Like it, it, it's never even been that fun for me for some reason. I don't know why. I'm the Uno King. Shut up. You know how many times someone beat me yesterday? How many? Uh -huh. Oh my god, I was gonna use sand attack on me. Yeah, for, where do you fight sand at anyway? So I want to know. I mean, pretty much all battlefields on Pokemon are made of sand. Yeah. Unless it's glass well, or no. something. <laughs> Looks like we're battling on a, on a glass floor than sand. All right, Mr. Mine. Okay, I think I beat her. Yeah. I, all right. Yeah, I freaking one shot at all of them. Me too. Crunch. Yep, I beat her. All right. Let's see. I'm working. I'm working on it right now. My. Let's see. Let's see how the basics. Part sidekick anyway. So I'm gonna stomp on its freaking. I'm gonna stomp on Mr. Mine. I'm gonna stomp on Got it. The... Got the, and it's using barrier, god damn Got the it. marshmallow badge. <laughs> subliminal powers? What? What? See? They don't benefit. What is subliminal? Oh, geez. It's kind of did a lot. Ish. Okay, it's not going bad. Just just chilling here. What? Your defense is way up already. You don't need to be much more of a tank already. Well, John fails. <laughs> In the next part, I'm guessing we're probably going to go west. Yeah, most likely. Don't mind me, I'm just stomping on this freaking Mr. Mime. You know what's funny? Female, female Mr. Mime is still- Look at that, it's a female, it's still called Mr. Mime. That no, just, uh, just happens to be the species name. Still makes sense it's called Mrs. Mime, <coughs> at least. Or Mrs. Mime. Nickname is it, Mrs. Mime. Yeah, you can there always you do that. It'll still say Mr. Mime when it talks, but... Yeah. Like, I'll- also, female Wobbuffet fit has lipstick on. Yeah, that's freaking disturbing as fuck. Not in this game, <laughs> though, is it? No, no, I don't think so. The whole gender differences started with a with, uh, diamond and pearl. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's like one episode that... of X and Y, XYZ, though, where Wobbuffet fit has on lipstick. I think Jesse just put it on just the funsies. Alright, like Kazan, let's switch it to... Let's switch to my starter from the can't... From, from the... From my... From two years ago. I know he's a bit rusty, but I think he can handle it. Alright. 
All right. Don't fail. Let's hi let's hydro pump this thing. Don't worry. Me and Koopa have been bonding. A, bonding? a long time ago, though. Not really, but yeah. Yeah, spray some water. Spray some high pressured water on this thing. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna hit it with my head. What? Yeah, you you should have just hit it with the surf. Lord. All right, my defense went up. I kind of forgot what's going on. I'm gonna laugh. Okay, okay good. <laughs> Go yeah, you skull bash. Yeah. Okay. Look at that hit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Watch he's another freaking eye. Okay, good. What? Yeah, recover for all I care. Okay, whatever. It's whatever. Yeah, let's surf on this thing. Alright. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> There you go, that's a lot of 57. Yeah, got more buff! Okay. Alright. Your power, it far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it is impossible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself Marsh Badge. <laughs> you yourself Marsh Badge? Marsh Badge? Looks like there's some translating errors going on. Yeah. Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers. Although I failed to accurately predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. I'm already a champion! Your love for your Pokemon overwhelmed my psychic power. The power of love, uh, I think, is also a kind of psychic power. I think there's more dialogue in that game than here. Because it just ended after... No, oh, let's get out of I here. talked to her again after she was done. Oh, <laughs> makes sense. All right. Well, it looks nice out here still. I like. I still like oh, how it looks like in color. I know, but still. Yeah, in ten minutes it'll be nighttime. Mm-hmm. So expect a night, night, through, night, I mean, day through nighttime cycle again. All right, let's go heal up real quick before we wrap this up. You know, I just remember the time when we had to battle Sabrina when we had. Five badges? Yeah, now we have like ten. Well, we, we know, yeah, more? we do got like ten. We're Gary Oak now. We got ten unknown badges. All We're right. Not unknown. We know what they are. Exactly. That's the point. All right, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you hear a comment, like, and subscribe for more Pokemon Sun and Moon discussions here in this channel. I know I said that on purpose, but we may talk about more. There's plenty of things I want to talk about more for Sun and Moon. Cause ugh, I'm so excited for this game. Let me know how you guys, let me know what you got, what, what started you choosing, and let me know how much you're excited for Sun and Moon. I'm so excited right now that, uh, I'm throwing, I'm throwing my wallet at the screen, see? Calm down, yeah. dude. It's not even November I want Sun and Moon, Jerry. Yeah. I'm so excited already. I'm like, so excited. It's not 11, 11, but, uh, 16, okay? Calm down. You mean 11, 18? End of, end, end of the video. Just end it. <laughs> I want this round. 